Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to stream number 15 of Infinifactory. We are back with the hardest puzzles in the game, making slow, slow progress, as the title may suggest. Uh, but welcome back, guys. Hope you're well. Hope you've been uh, having a good week, good weekend. <sighs> We're back. And Fusion Reactor, I'm told, is the hardest hardest puzzle in the game we've got five puzzles left to go um it's just a question of whether or not we're going to go for um fusion reactor or if we're just gonna try and work our way around it and do everything else um i mean nobody else on my friends list has done this anyway any of these um, and as we did like the last episode I think my, my, my biggest problem with these um, and why I'm kind of feeling a bit apprehensive about these is just like the sheer scale of these is just phenomenal it's, it's such a big area to kind of like building in and uh, do the puzzle um, but you know we, we got a navigation navigation computer down I think I should probably just um, bite the bullet though stop umming and ahhing so much and just you know go for fusion reactor um, it may take us a couple of streams i may cut the streams length down a little bit as well just to um almost preserve my sanity a little bit all right but without further ado here we go okay so i gotta remember what what we actually need here we need six by six on the bottom. And then we need a ring of four around the top. So we need 36 blocks top and bottom. We need 12 blocks to sit there. Yeah. I already made a start on something over here previously. This is, I think this is just creating the uprights. Alright, so yeah. That's handling the uprights for now. Uh, we may need to change bits and pieces around. We then have kind of like the central core. So how are we going to do the core? It's quite a interesting question because it's not good is it yawning already I haven't just started um, it's like attaching that isn't it Because the only welders we can do are, we can't do vertical up welders, can we? So there's no way to kind of like flip it that way at a 90 degree vertical angle. We can only flip on the horizontal axle, axes, axle. Um. 
I just want to try something. I did that like weird weld in the last one, which is kind of like what I want to almost replicate. So that's, that's not going to work. I just think possibly I'm going to be better. Maybe if I make rows of six. make rows of six, but... For every... I was thinking I could cut out for them bits, but then that's just going to make things awkward. Twelve to thirty-two is sorry. Twelve to thirty-six is one to three. Right. So here's a a thought. Okay. So. So, I'll have my one coming down here. Oh, I can do this on the same side. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but I have to go one higher with this. So, move this up. Move this up. So then I'm going to have floor level conveyor there. Those conveyors there. Same again here. Okay. 
but yeah, it's not gonna work, is it? Come on, this is this is like the easy bits. Come on, come on, knock. Let's think. Say no rocket science. So, so that's going to give us our one to three ratio. Okay. So the ones at the top are going to be the ones that create the rows of six. Okay, so then we can do I can't actually do anything in here. Ah, that sucks. Alright, well, I can't do that. Then let's bring everything out by one. And then... that and that then we'll do sensor here though we're gonna probably want the sensor actually we just do that my wife's here actually I don't think we need the sensor because we could just do this Uh, 
I'll just see if that works on the top bit first. It works quite well, actually. Alright, so I'm happy with that so far. So... So that's that bit done. There, we're going to get our two bases. We'll work out about splitting them shortly. So here we're almost going to want... I'm still not confident at all about the welds that I need on this. It's the welds which are really like throwing me and putting myself into self-doubt. Do I create six, eight, ten, twelve? Do I create the Yeah, maybe building like the solid six platform is a mistake. Tricky one. I just have no idea how I... Well... I kind of do, actually. And I don't like it. So... I think maybe what I need to do... Have these all separate. Still doesn't explain, or I still don't really know how I would. So, if I could work out how's like just I, I get. So 
So... Maybe what I need to do is do it all separately. So all my six are individual. And then I build it up kind of block by block. So I need to build a six on its own, a six with four on the top, a six with two and a two, a two and a two and the central core, a six with a two and a two without the core, sorry, not a two and a two, a one, a six and a two. So on two, two sixes and four, so, oh. two sixes on their own for the outer ones. Then I want two six and fours. Then I want a six and a two, and then a six and a two with the core. And then I weld them all on the sides. Now, the only problem maybe I take the individual ones down and I weld them directly to the central core first. Well, I don't think we want this. Uh, actually, we want that. But we don't want this one. So that gives our individual ones. I'm not going to worry about them at the minute. So. Alright, so the core comes out straight away. So what I'm thinking is symmetrical, right? There's no... Okay, so it comes to here and it's going to sit here and here. So... I want blocks are going to drop here so then we can have welders which will give me my two at the side Once I have the two at the side, I can then weld two fours. So, I want to, here, two, I want two fours and a single four. Oh, I got 12 in total, so I'm gonna have six each side. So, okay, let's do, It's probably better to do it somewhere. So that we're level. And I can kind of keep a bit of a better eye on it. Okay, so that's going to give us a six. Um, what I'm going to want to do here is 
push two off. Push two off, weld the other. Okay. So we'll weld those ones. Then uh, they're going to want to be on the other side. I could put Yeah, that's gonna affect that though. Can't go there. <sighs> Unless I move this to here. These get pushed here. So they get pushed in. across I think I'll be wary of here is things touching and getting in the way Alright, so let's go and do that. Let's go and do that. Then we have another set here. Because these are going to be our singles. And they've got nowhere to go. And I also have a feeling that hmm. Alright, so let's not run a double I was just trying to be efficient. Let's not run a double here. Let's run it as a single. Okay, so I'm going to go down to there.
Let's put a blocker there just in case they start to fall off the edge for, for whatever reason. Something's connected that shouldn't be connected. save any aggro. then here I could actually have that which will create my fours okay so then somewhere else let's say Then I can do that. actually gonna want to weld we don't need to do that as a separate thing at all we need to weld it might need to weld this a little bit higher
Oh, yeah, actually, we're gonna go that way. And the reason I'll do it this way is just so I don't push things off where I, I don't want them to be pushed off. Basically. So actually, we'll do all the we'll do the welding here. That's that, that's that, that's that. And then... It's gonna go into there like that. on there. Oh, I haven't put no. I could do some welding though. here as well. But let's just run with this for now. So then... So, I think I'm going to want to hold, I think I'm going to want to change this kind of up here, so that we actually get eight. So, I think what I'm going to do here actually instead is... this and this so I've welded them together already then all we need to worry about is positioning them down at the bottom so I can scrap that entire whole welding section down at the bottom because they should be yes they are alright so Scrap all this. Also going to want to put some, at least one holding section in before we get over here. I mean, I think it's going to make sense to bring this out more, right? Two, three, four. That's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. Right. So then we have five. 
five, six, seven, eight. So we need eight high. Eight high. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So. I don't know how I'm going to support it at the moment. But then we're going to want this. So we're going to do that. So to deal with this. So the issue now is about where I weld it. I think possibly move it. Hold on though, doesn't this... Doesn't this deviate from my original plan anyway? So I was going to do just one side for a start, wasn't I? So if I did just one side, that would then allow me to do... So I'm going to drop one in there, and drop one in there. Do need the platform there. So I could do that, which get that one into position. Next one. go there. Again, we're just sort of playing around here, hypothetically at the moment. Thank you. 
So I think the idea here is I would then push it off to the, to the right. Uh, hmm. I got it in the right place, but... So that's now welded to that. That's now welded to that. So I could have effectively something like this, which would then move this across to here. I was going to do. So I wanted this, the normal. I've got that. Alright, so we're going to go crossways here. So I need to start taking the fours and putting them on top of the sixes. I want two of those. So... Five, six, and then it gets pushed off the end. So instead of pushing them off the end, what I want to do is sensor. Actually, let's go across with one more. So we'll sensor here, and then. We'll go three, one, two, three. And then. Okay, so that's going to do that. So two of them. Two of them don't need anything doing to them. It's not just two of them though, is it? It's four of them. Ugh. It's four of them, but we're doing them in batch of two, so it's fine. We'll, we'll carry on down this one. So, push them off. And... So we'll just, for now, hold two of them here. Okay, so there's two there. So then we need to make two four, fours on top. So my falls are coming off here. And we're doing them in batch of two. So if we're doing them in batches of two, we're gonna 
need a sensor again to push them off. What's going to happen first, though? Four. Alright, it's going to happen at around about the same time. But I need to rotate. I need to rotate something. So I think it's going to be better to rotate the four. It's going to rotate the other way, so it rotates out to here. Right. Yep. Is that going to affect rotation, though? Might well do. Yeah, it is. Let's go the other way. <sighs> That's affecting rotation as well. Easily fixed, I guess, by doing something like this. this instead and we pushed off from the other side just trying to think of like a way to buy myself more space one
time. Like I said before, it's just the sheer scale of this thing, which is... It's daunting. It's absolutely terrifying. So, them two would stop. I would then have that one, and that one is the twos. This one is this one is the fours. That's not going to be enough room now to uh, go over to there, is it? It's going to get blocked. Man, space is so tight around here. Unless I don't rotate there.
but doing that, I uh, it's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna do any good. But it needs to be rotated before it gets to here. Oh man. Too close to the sensor to rotate, though. Maybe I can do Something, something stopped it from rotating. I mean, I could easily prevent this. So that could work. Now, what I'm wondering is, do I need this to be a stack of 12? Rather than six. I'm just thinking, do I want to separate the upper from the lower at like an, an, an early part, rather than get so far down the line and then have to re-split them all out. That's what I'm doing with those ones, isn't it? I'm splitting those two blocks out for both upper and lower on both sides already. So I kind of think I need to do 12 
as opposed to just four here. Um... I think do it like at such a high level so basically the first six will be the ones where the box go on top the second six will be the ones where they go on the bottom Okay, so let's also get rid of this for now, and we'll get rid of this. So here, I'm going to need four, aren't I? I need four fours, four twos, twelve sixes. the way I'm attacking this. So... So that's us moved away from there. Then... this then okay so that gave me my four fours okay take the right way. No. That. One, two, three. Convey to take that that way. Not rotating.
Let's bring out one more. It's about the only thing I can think to do. Okay, so everything there is synchronized blockwise. So next up. I need to get the webcams it's frozen. Let's go on my webcam. Alright guys, apologise for that. Don't know what was going there. I have to restart my camera software. Uh, but everything is back working. So yeah, okay, so um, so I've got my I've got all this, right? So this is where I now need to separate off into uppers and lowers. So, they are going to be my one section, or we'll just say for now. then from here I 
I need to take two of them over here, right? I think I, I kind of want a stack of them almost. So. Let's do that for now. Get rid of these. They can fall down to there. So, so that's going to make my four. That's going to make that, that's going to make that. So that's the upper ones on this segment. do that on the first one. And we can block that there. And this one. See, the problem is now doing it this way. Thank you. 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to have to separate these off because, no, not, I don't separate them. I just need to offset the welders. So that they don't then get welded together. Again, stuck on. I should stop that. slightly lower route. Thank you. 
I don't know, something like that. Okay. So, that works. Then here... I can have that with this. Sensor. So that will then allow that to Come over here, I hope. Why was... Shouldn't have anything coming in at the top. Why did that do that? Oh, okay. Try that again. It's got to go round. Something like that, maybe?
Alright, that should be it. For this bit. Just all little tweaks, little tweaks here, there, and everywhere. But then I need to move the sensor. Good news is, that is working. Alright, so, that's got the bottom bits there. So then I need to send one of them to be put on a two. So my twos are here. So, let's maybe do this here, which means the rest of them are going to go there. So, This one, um, Sorry, I'm playing my social scroller. Don't like it over my face cam, I decided. Uh, anyway, I digress. Why 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to rotate it. Should be alright. I think that worked pretty well. Actually, it didn't work very well at all. It was god awful. Jeez. Um... That's three of the bottom sections done. I have two running on their own, which are still at the top. And then... that bit already attached, right?
maybe I don't. Ugh, maybe I need to keep the twos in the actual central core of the reactor. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. I think I just need to attach the twos. All right, let's get rid of this. All right, so attach the twos to the core. And then I just do, I can weld these right here, right? Should be able to, or even on top. I can weld them on top. So I already have these. So I kind of think I should maybe start trying to build it. So what I want to do is I want, I'm going to have four empty ones. Let's go on, Sadiq. This is Infinity Factory. This is our number 37 of Infinity Factory. This is the hardest puzzle of the game in Infinity Factory, apparently, so I've been told. And I've, I'm currently an hour and 47 into the stream. Not making much progress, unfortunately. Don't think I'll be going for much longer tonight. I was told this this puzzle will pro probably take two or three streams to complete. I'm just trying to work out, basically, at the minute, the correct order to do things. And that's what's causing me, like, a bit of issues at the minute. And so my phone's now deciding to kind of, like, turn itself on and off of silence, so... If my face cam starts rocking, I do apologize, but that's because my phone is vibrating. Um, all right, so I think what I should probably do is first ones and then it gets pushed across to here all right so then I want to put the second ones here Three, four, five, six, seven. So the second ones are going to go in here Next one is going to next one will drop here. drop here so we're gonna do it over to here
Uh, it's it's completely open ended. It's basically however you can get however you can get it to work. Um, is basically it. There is n I, there are multiple ways you can do things here. But I'm struggling so much. I've kind of like been saying this in the stream. This puzzle is just the the sheer size of it is just ridiculous. And that's where I feel like I'm struggling. Uh, also, I've made a mistake there because... Okay, let's go back. I have to go off this way and I have to push off that way. So, I don't want the welders here and here. But yeah, it's completely, it's completely open-ended, Sadiq. You can pretty much do however you want to do it. Which is pretty neat. Yeah, that's going to fall down there because it's got nothing attaching to it. Alright, let's get these attachment points. I just basically want to see if this works. Um, I said I'm coming to... I'm going to be calling it an end soon because I'm getting pretty exhausted. Okay. I'm not blocking that. Of course, you should be doing that. Fine, if you can do that, then we're going to have to put block here. I hope I didn't need that support. Alright, so. What? What have I done here? Oh man, what have I done? Drops down here. Oh, this needs to go a lot higher. I need to come into here. So if I work backwards. Going anyway, Sadiq. What you been up to other than playing DJ, DJ, DJ? Taking a rest from video editing. Oh, does that mean we've got a new, D a new DJ video coming out real soon? I look forward to that.
Sweet. Oh, I think I needed that. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop on there. Oh, for goodness sake. I just want to get this bit sorted and then I'm probably going to call it. Okay, here we go. Oh, why is that dropping on there? If that's dropping on there, this one needs to be... Oh, I'm a freaking doofus, man. I uh, know you've got unlimited parts. Unlimited parts. You just have varying inputs, so... Um, we've basically got this, this just churns out solid blocks, that churns out like the the end blocks, and then we've got like our central core. There's only like three unique parts to it, but this is what we've got to make, which is, um, it's a bit of a doozy. It's a bit of a doozy. One of them games that I've like had to sit in my library for like absolutely ages, and I was really excited to play it. Um, but as the playthrough has gone on, it's just got so intensive. I was was streaming it three nights a week, and I, I can only manage one night a week now because it, it just it's it's so demanding. I just can't physically... It's just mentally draining. <laughs> it's quite it's quite ridiculous. But, um, yeah, there's, there's some... I'll, I'll, I'll just... Once I've got this, I'll, like, flick back through some of the solutions, so and I'll show you, it's like, some of, like, the factories that we have created up to this point in the game. Huzzah! Okay, so then let's convey this away. Right, if this conveys away, then that's it, I'm calling that for tonight. Quite a bit of progress. I've got direction, which is the main thing today. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a core. So now that we have the core, um, I want the next method act, plan of action will be to add six rails on the bottom there, six rails on the top there. Then I can add in these fours at the bottom. I need to replicate that so it's flipped as well to add the ones at the top. Then I put the ones on the end, and then the center. I mean, when I when I say it like that, it doesn't feel like there's much more left to do. Um, but there is a lot still to do on this. But. I'm quite happy. I, I feel like I have made some good... Yeah, I make it work. Well, it doesn't need to work. That's the thing. You don't need to make it do anything once... You, you just need to build it and then deliver it to, like, this bit here, basically. 
Um, you don't actually, it doesn't have to do anything. It just has to be exactly the same as that. How you get to that point is completely open-ended. Completely. But, that's, I mean, look at like the, the scale of this, like area to do this, is, is quite something. But yeah, let's um, let me go to... So this is the last one that I did. Um, navigation computer. So... It's basically we're we're building like a monitor kind of computer kind of thing, so let's like set it on. It's quite complicated. You just kind of like this one wasn't well. It wasn't too bad. I just it took me a long while to get started, but you're basically like welding the parts on at various pieces, moving it around so that as it comes back, as it comes past certain areas, the parts kind of get automatically welded on. And then I got like a stamper here, which is kind of like moving the welders into position to make it work as you'll see all by sensors and counters and things but um yeah that's it, it looks that's actually quite a simple uh scenario um where did we go to shuttles i think was quite simple let's look at shuttles I mean, this, these ones are like completely different, like the complete opposite to that one. Whereas we've got like, the one I'm working on at the minute has got so much space. This one is, you are really limited to space. So this one, we have to like use like lifters and stuff to do stuff in the air and, and position things in the right places. But um, yeah, this one's quite mad. This is all like in such a confined space. There's a lot of lifting and stuff going on, rotating, welding crazy and then it gets like to here it, it like lifts them into place and then it waits for the next one to come along to like lift it up further to push it on the conveyors and it it's not so much about like the space um, constraint of it a lot of the time it's the timing of everything the timing is what really kind of screws you over you've got to make sure everything falls into place just at the right time and the input sometimes aren't always synchronized so you have to then think of ways to delay the inputs or even like delay yeah delay the inputs so like kind of like sync with the, the other elements and stuff but um yeah so this one's kind of like quite neat it pushes each other up and then we've got some like welders on pistons which kind of move into place to do like the final welds and stuff so <sighs> yeah, it's it's a complex game. It really is complex, and that's on the back of like doing like an overlords. There's like an overlord and resistance. So we've done all of the overlords first, which was quite mad. But um, yeah, anyway, going back to this, um, I feel like I've made some quite. I've you know what, I'm gonna actually copy that. Uh, I've made some positive strides tonight. Um, I feel like I've I've got my mind in a position where I know which direction um, I'm going to go to. So um, we'll pick this up again next week. Uh, the stream will either be Monday or Tuesday for Infinite Factory next week. I will be back tomorrow night, and we're going to be playing the uh, Pipe Push Paradise tomorrow night. Hopefully, we're going to get that um, finished off. Finished all the main levels yesterday. Uh, sorry, last week on Saturday. Uh, so I just now need to put everything together on the bonus levels that the freaking sneaky game threw at me right at the end but thank you very much everybody for tuning in I appreciate the support um, we'll be back 9.30 p.m. BST or around about there tomorrow night for the Pipe Push Paradise hope to see you there but if not thank you very much I've been Nock you've been awesome see ya